This week, Edward cooks up a traditional Thai recipe. Luke objects to the size of the vegetarian portions. This is going to show up on my scorecard, if I'm honest. Strange objects are discovered in Edward's room. I think we should, I don't know, I feel a bit uncomfortable being here now. We're not having such a lovely time here. Although well, we were offered chocolate mousse, but I think it's Tesco value, so I don't know. And Helena gets drunk. Eat it, eat it, eat the lime, eat the lime. When I feel left out, so So what we're making is sort of a variation on pad thai today. Uh, basically I didn't have the essential ingredient for pad thai so I had to improvise a little bit. Um, but hopefully, given that people will come over to my house, I think it, I think it, should, be, I think it should be a really nice meal. While Edward continues to make the food in the kitchen, the others take the opportunity to have a poke around the house. Sorry, I would just like to point out that Luke has a little bit of toast oh. stuck to his foot there. Oh. So we've got two vegetarians among us, we're, we're using corn. Um, and then for the meat eaters, we're using some lovely each strips, which I've taken heads off. I love what he's done with the walls, they're just so white. What's this? Oh, it's so nice wow. just to be able to poke around the house, isn't it? Oh, this is just not what I thought it would be, Marsh. Oh. What's this? Oh, Look, he's got oh, no. corn on the wall. Oh. He's clearly into cross-dressing. <laughs> Look at this! Have <laughs> anyone imagined Ed in this little skirt? Oh. Oh. I mean, it's a gorgeous skirt. But so <laughs> what the hell is this? I mean, he's clearly a bit arty. <laughs> who he? doesn't go skiing oh. but owns a map? Like <laughs> yeah. It's more bondage equipment than I thought they'd be. Yeah, I think it's going to be a great meal, so let's start cooking. I don't know whether these are like an artistic statement or whether that's supposed to be like where he just keeps his unused headphones. Well, knowing him, it's probably just for the appearance, him. isn't it? Yeah. Keeping up appearances, Aww. that's what I think he's like. Yeah. Hands yeah. clean. What are these for? Serial killer. <laughs> oh, I'm a little oh. bit nervous now about being in this house with oh. those things. I just don't know. Oh. Ooh. Soy sauce, white wine vinegar, <laughs> lime juice. Now this is this is interesting. <laughs> interesting. I wonder if he would call himself a pearl beauty. <laughs> it, but it gently cares, so I can smell he uses this. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a bit weird, isn't it? Don't yeah. you think we should? I don't know. I feel a bit uncomfortable being here now. He's obviously yeah. a cross-dressing weirdo. <laughs> Murdering. Yeah. 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 Gosh. Oh, we should have this sort of this burst of uh, sourness, which then sort of melts away into a sweet sugarness, which then caresses the back of your throat with uh, the spice. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm just... You know, he doesn't have many table decorations, and the one that he does have has, you know, half a barcode on the bottom. I mean, it's nice to make an effort, but, you know, sometimes you think you should have kept it simple and just not put the Buddha on the table. I don't really know. But, um, you know, it's a bit strange when you arrive at someone's house and you have to arrange the table yourself because it's just, a, you know, they could have, you know, they've known they're going to present tonight. They could have... Yeah. He's not been a very good host, mm. I think, you know. You know, it's lovely that he's in the kitchen, but if he'd done a bit more pre-preparation, perhaps sorry, he could have sorry, been... Sorry, what, what was that? Hosting. It's lovely, it's lovely. It's all having good. Having a yeah. lovely time. <laughs> yeah, great, yeah. it is. Lovely time. We're not having such a lovely time here. But the food's still to come, so we'll see what happens. More wine. Oh, yes, please. Yeah. While the food is being served, Luke keeps everyone entertained with stories about water filters. Yeah, yeah red, blue, black, yellow, green. But then you had yellow, but they probably yellow. But the filter's supposed to wear out after like need replacing after every 
300 uses, so maybe, you know, in a year. Are you counting them all? Yeah. Though uniformity of the prawn division left something to be desired, the food was, overall, very well received. It's bloody good. It's bloody good. It's really fucking hunting good. Nevertheless, Luke still did manage to find some complaint. I wouldn't mind, but, you know, you look at the quality of the porch. <laughs> this is all I got. And then look at that one. Come on. I mean, you know, someone's anti-vegetarian perhaps here. This is going to show up on my scorecard, if I'm honest. So, you know, there better be something good for pudding. That's all I can say. As the evening drew on and James liberally poured the wine, Helena began to feel its effects. I think the aura of Jen's necklace is just delightful. Yeah, and you touching it removes all that aura. <laughs> <laughs> and at the end of the evening, everybody's plates were wiped clean. Well, nearly everybody's. You seem to have left a nut or two there. And your lime you haven't eaten either. You haven't eaten your lime. You eat the whole thing, it's just... Eat the lime, eat the lime, eat the lime. Helena was drunk. <laughs> so now, with their full stomachs, the guests had only to leave their scores before leaving their house. Ooh. Well, I um, wasn't entirely sure about the house. I mean, you know, the kitchen had no curtains. Um, I like the decor of the kitchen. Uh, he's using to his coffee, which is a good thing. Uh, the place warmed up quite quickly once we were all inside and the door was closed. The lounge is a bit frosty, but it is winter. I, I just don't know what to say. I've never been with a group of such awful, awful people. Racists, drunks. tonight was very good. Um, I was particularly impressed with the spicy stuff that you put on on top and the nuts. The nuts were fantastic. I'm not usually a fan of either spicy stuff or nuts. But apart from that, the meal was lovely. Marvellous, especially the nuts. Very good nuts. Ed's nuts. Marvellous. Vegetarian option, well catered for. Um, the corn was very well cooked, very succulent, uh, very tender. Would have liked him to try and shape the corn into perhaps some sort of prawn shape to make us feel a bit less left out as vegetarians. Um. Top marks for the food really. Um, did uh, require us to participate in, in creating the meal, but I guess in some ways that fostered a sense of community around the meal. So, uh, I guess no harm done on that front. Some of us were requested to uh, sort bean sprouts, which are just sprouts and beans, apparently, from other vegetables like uh, mushrooms, cabbage, um, onions were in there as well. So we had to sort those from the bean sprouts. And I thought we could have done that himself. No dessert thing. bunch of weirdos that live here clearly but I mean that's not what we're judging today is it I would like to give today's meal a ten an eight eight out of ten yeah seven out of ten Good meal. Despite the awful company, I'd give the food an 11. People generally enjoyed it. Um, obviously, lack of pudding caused a bit of, bit of debate, a bit of uh, annoyed about it. But you know what I thought when I made the meal? I thought, you know, Thai people, they, they don't really have pudding, do they? So, yeah. That was my thinking.
join us next time for another episode of Come Down With Me at Beverage House.